And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Darius Fury. We're going to be go ahead we're going to go ahead and play an overwhelm deck with Noxus and Freljord. Y'all have probably seen decks like this. Um, they can hit for a lot of damage uh, really quickly. We're going to have Darius and Sejuani try to end the games um, with you know being huge huge threats with Battle Fury. For other overwhelmed things, we got Ancient Yeti in here. We got Wolf Rider ramping into those. You know, so if we can have Wolf Rider on turn four, that allows us to get to six mana on turn five for Darius and Sejuani. So that works really well. Um, also, Iron Ballista there with the overwhelm. Early on, we want to get that damage in. So we got our one drop, Saboteur, Precious Pet. Good two drops also with Grenadier, Ruthless Raider. So a good curve out deck using combat tricks, um, pump spells and overwhelm now we also have speaking of combat tricks we also have decisive maneuver which works perfectly with overwhelm as well so like whatever they you know we have a, an overwhelm unit they block the overwhelm unit after they block then we cast decisive maneuver stun their blocker and give all of our allies plus two plus zero and that thing with overwhelm you know gets to still do damage to the enemy nexus even though it was blocked all right so that's going to be our, our deck uh pretty straightforward pretty linear we're going to be trying to do the same thing every game and hope it works. Go hard. So go hard you know, has like the, the one damage spells, which one damage spells are good against Precious Pet. So I think I mulligan those and look for some bigger things. And I, you know, I want to curve out with like two drop, three drop, like that kind of stuff. So I ended up just mulliganing the entire hand. This would be a good wolf. Yeah, wolf rider would be really good to have. Um, you know, we have the attack token turn four, which is nice. This land is ours. I don't change fate. I'm just gonna pass with having this troll chant. Because maybe I can go Ruthless Raider. Okay. I'll just take that too. So yeah, Wolf Rider would be my best draw step. Love to draw a Wolf Rider. Come on, Wolf Rider. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So we use the troll chant, save both of ours, set that up. We feast tonight, Varg. And now we feast. What's up, Gucci? So I can go Darius next turn. And then Sejuani turn six, and Sejuani has. Ooh, or I could have Decisive Maneuver. Since Sej Sejuani has that ability, that's good to play it, then attack with it. Um, if I do that, if I go Darius into Sejuani, then I'm not playing around Ruination at all. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play around Ruination. They're back to 20. I have well, now I guess orders. they can't have ruination right now. Okay. We play in build rules, son. I hope this pool shark gives them ruination. Right there. Or vengeance. They get either one of those. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by. Gotta go with the flow. I guess Darius should be last. Clear off. It doesn't really matter. We can't get to 10 anyway. <clears throat> yeah, the Darius should be last. Because, you know, like, this isn't doing 10 damage anyway. Scratch. 
So now I just need to make sure, so we're at 2 out of 5 for this, the death hand will be 3 out of 5. Oh, what was that that just got burned? I missed it. Ooh, that's a good draw. So now we're, <clears throat> we're definitely going to open attack. So they could have like a vengeance. They could still play pack your bags, I guess. Yeah, if they have t two go hards, they could go pack your bags. If they have, if they have pack your bags plus, okay, not pack your bags. So yeah, let's go Wolf Rider. Yes, I, I don't have Battle Fury and Decimate. Or Battle Fury and... Alright, awesome. Basically force them to Vengeance. After they Vengeance, then I Battle Fury. And we're good. Uh, you missed meme, meme Tier Monday yesterday? We didn't have the best of decks on Meme Tier Monday, but you know, that's what... You know, Meme Tier Monday is not about wins and losses. Misfortune, Twisted Fate. Hmm. I think I keep Darius, right? Or not? I'm not sure. I'm keeping Precious Pet, Ruthless Raider. I'm just not sure about you, Darius. I guess I'll mulligan. It seems like our deck has a lot of top end cards like that. Nothing and so that even though we mulligan Darius, I feel like by the time turn six comes around, we should have another Darius or a similar type of card. This land is ours. The Winter's Claw! Cool. Yeah. See? We got more Dariuses. Looking for trouble? It found you. But I wasn't even looking for trouble. Time for violence. Um. <sighs> Okay. I wasn't sure if there was going to be something that they would have that would make that attack poor for me. Or that block, sorry, that block poor for me. Just take it. Let me get a let me get an empty mana gem. Alright. Let's get that empty mana gem so we can fill it up. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Smell that barg beer. Cool. <clears throat> Sejuani on their turn is not quite as good as Sejuani on our turn. But that's fine. We're going to go with Sejuani this turn, so the next turn we can have Maneuver slash Fury of the North slash Troll Chant. Bow to no one. So we're just going <clears> to, <throat> I guess, open attack with Decisive Maneuver, Troll Chant. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. Pass, 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 pass. Yes! I didn't want them to cast Mystic Shots before I had the ability to have Troll Chant. Why are you here? All 
All right, that will be putting them to negative four. That will still put them to negative four. Perfect. There we go. That's what our deck's all about. It is furious. Okay, playing against Gohard again. All right, so we're gonna have Legion Saboteur, Iron Ballista. I guess Legion Saboteur, kind of like before how I mulligan the one health units. I should probably mulligan that. Yeah, let's mulligan the one health units against Gohard. Cursed Keeper. That thing doesn't block yet, but it's, as a 4-3, it blocks pretty well. Do I use Troll Chant to save Grenadier from Go Hard? I'm not sure. No, I'm not. I'm really not sure. They may go hard their own curse keeper, I guess, but that doesn't seem likely. I think so. I think I save. If I play Ballista, you know, Ballista just trades with their 4-3. You got legs. Use them. Just gonna go trade, trade. Run while you can. Noxus lives on. Like a fish in water. <laughs> They've already played two go hards. Not the best turn for me. They're, yeah, I'm just turning on their go hard. They just drew. Drew Glimpse Beyond, not go hard. So this is a good way to get rid of some blockers. Pretty nice. That withering wheel is pretty nice. Keep up, keep up. This is going to be close. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just... So, like, they probably just grabbed a go hard. I'm just gonna, you know, let them go hard this Iron Ballista. I, I feel pretty good about this game now, though. Now that that was their turn of, of just salvage, spray fit, you know, salvage, go hard. I feel pretty good about this. I know I could have used Battle Fury, but then that Battle Fury kind of helps out their, like, Vengeance. Because we get to open attack right here. They have to Vengeance, then they, they Vengeance my 10-2, and then I... Battle Fury the 4-3, and that should be game. Yep. Alright, 3-0. Okay, Draven, Ezreal. That deck's good. Ooh. I like one drops. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm gonna keep one drops. We're definitely keeping one. Maybe I don't keep the other one. So let's keep Saboteur. You know, Saboteur dies to Jury Rig. Maybe I should've kept Precious Pet. No one's the wiser. Okay, no jury rig, that's good. The rest of the hand, not so great. Yeah, I should have kept Precious Pet. Uh, I guess Precious Pet would do four damage anyway. I have my orders. Like they're they're pretty aggressive too with their nexus damage and everything. I'm I'm certainly considering blocking the two one. I definitely wish I had precious bet instead of saboteur. Draven can block a 2-1, but then we'll have Death's Hand for, for you know, being able to kill the Draven. This is gonna hurt for you. Alright, didn't use Spinning Axe. Kinda thought they'd use Spinning Axe right here. Damn it. We can probably do one damage pretty easily. That thing. Let's do this. I'm definitely considering going with a decisive maneuver on the Ezreal. Yeah. If I do this, I'm basically spending five mana to play a four-one overwhelm, right? Like that's all I'm doing by doing this. Which maybe that's not worth it. Draven. Out. Gotcha. Firing. All right, so they have another card in hand, plus they have the two spinning axes, plus they have an Ezreal in play. All of that, and I have literally nothing. So it looks like we're going to pick up a loss. Should have mulligan step to her. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Should have mulligan step to her. So Juani is at four already. That's kind of cool. So I'll be able to play Sejuani and have Fury of the North as well the next turn. Alright, GG's. 
These wounds only make Not a very good hand. Okay, and similar deck. They're going with Riven, though. I got Darius, they got Riven. Let's see. So, um, we mulligan the Darius. Mulligan the Death's Hand. Um, ugh. So many spells in this deck. This deck maybe has too many spells. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of thinking Decisive Maneuver should be like a one of. Not a three of. The Winter's Claw strikes! Okay, that's a good Death's Hand. Hopefully no Riven, you know, Riven being the 3-4. I can't attack through. I was born in battle and raised by war. That's not so great. Hey Blue Scorpion. We have Ancient Yeti in our deck. We haven't, you know, I know we haven't drawn it at all yet, but that, that is a card that we do have in the deck. Both of these dogs are like snoring so loud. I know y'all can't really hear them, but <laughs> there's the other one. That's pretty funny. They're both just laying in, in their little doggy beds. What I got? I got Pup on doggy cam back there. Oh, back there, I guess. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, that's those things are much bigger than my stuff. Double the cards in hand than I do. Leave nothing standing. That's a bad sign. You will not break me. I just done that. Basically, so I can so I can trade here. Decisive maneuvers not look good. Of course, I could stun the 5-5, five five and I do more damage to them, but then they still have the 5-5. Five five. I get 7 damage in. I'm just gonna do neither and get more units in play, get these wolf riders in play. Fuse is lit. Smell that barg fear. Cause we can't kill them next turn. We need we need two more attacks to kill them, but like how do we survive two attacks? So I traded Decisive Maneuver for Troll Chant. Plus they gained another two health. Plus they have this Alpha Wild Claw that's bigger than all my stuff. We feast tonight, Varg. Okay. So we've kind of seen the downfall of our deck the last two games. Just too many too many decisive maneuvers and battle furies. Um, Ancient Yeti looks good. That looks like a good card. We didn't draw those. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, we, we both of our losses there, the last two games, were pretty similar with just us having too many spells and not enough units. Um, this deck, that's you know, this deck does have 14 spells. That's that's a little heavy. Um, I'd have to say that as far as cards, cards I was disappointed in. Honestly, the one mana cards looked looked pretty bad. I mulliganed those frequently in our against like the go hard decks and the games that we were winning. And then those last two games that we lost, we had one mana cards that did nothing. That that were like worse than just you know like like they didn't even trade one for one with cards. You know, like <clears throat> the two one drops traded with like a house spider one time and just did a little bit of damage on on an ancient yeti another time. Um, so honestly, I was really disappointed with these one mana cards. Uh, let's see. But and then also decisive maneuver, pretty disappointed with that one. Um, it did it did give us the finishing touches to the second win, but I, that game was already. You know, like, basically any kind of spell there or another unit. Like, I think that we... Like, it's not like we needed Decisive Maneuver to win. So, I think I think Decisive Maneuver... Yeah, like, this card's really cute. But people... Everybody knows about this card whenever you're playing this kind of deck. People can try to play around it. And I just think three, three of these and three Battle Furies is probably just too many of those, honestly. I think that, like, you can have... You know, you can have, like one or two but i i think you probably want basically between battle fury and decisive maneuver you probably want four copies instead of six of those two cards um you know maybe five copies but you, you basically want four five six six is just kind of too heavy it's it's getting to too much of the deck especially if you're mulliganing looking for like a curve and then you just draw these in, in like your opener that's why we're losing the games we just had you know like two two of our cards in our opener in those games where like decisive maneuver slash battle fury and we just can't curve out we can't do uh we can't do anything with those so i i <clears throat> so yeah so I, I think that's too many of those kind of cards um yeah captain yeah you can play captain farron um captain farron again is super super expensive um most all those games were kind of ending before turn eight but yeah captain farron could be in there um I, I would definitely rather have Captain Fair and then, you know, the sixth one of those kind of cards. I, I would want something a little earlier, like the five mana slot, right? Like, I, I want a five mana card in here. You know, like, I liked the Wolf Rider. The Wolf Rider was cool. And then, you know, you have Darius Sejuani. What are we doing on five? I guess, like, Ancient Yeti is supposed to be your five mana card. We never drew an Ancient Yeti, but I guess that's kind of a five mana card. Um, the thing is, I don't think any of the fives have Overwhelm, though, right? Oh, I guess Scar Maiden Reaver does. So you could you'd have Scar Maiden Reaver. They not that might not be bad. You know, obviously the Cato gives overwhelm, but it doesn't have overwhelm itself. Um, and so granting overwhelm isn't um, very valuable when your other stuff already has overwhelm. So I would want like maybe two and two, and um, yeah, maybe just two Scar Maidens. That card does seem pretty difficult for a lot of people to deal with. Um, but then again, yeah, Captain Farron does finish games very well also. Maybe you don't play Sharpened Resolve either. We never drew Sharpened Resolve, but it was, wasn't any... There was none of those games that I was like, man, I wish I could draw a Sharpened Resolve either. Maybe that card's just pretty unnecessary too. And then, yeah, so you can just kind of have like an, another 5 drop in here. And then Captain Farron. Because I, I do think you want to curve out a little better. So that's, that's what I would do. I'd get rid of those Sharpened Resolves. Get rid of one maneuver, one fury, and play two reaver, two captain Farron. All right, now another question: Is Death's Hand better than a Culling Strike? So I like so. It's tough. So Culling Strike's a much better removal spell than Death's Hand. There are so many three health units, especially with the champions. We saw you know playing against Draven Ezreal, where Death's Hand just doesn't kill stuff. You know, like there's a lot of like misfortunes running around. There's a lot of things with three health. Um, especially champions wise where culling strike is going to be a lot better now um, and then you have like your tom kench soraka deck right like tom kench soraka can put up a lot of defense especially like with their astral protection um on something that you're, you're you'd much much rather have culling strike than death's hand now the thing that death's hand is very good with the and i think the reason to play death's hand is it gives like that one point of damage to the enemy nexus can be really important for wolf rider plunder and for leveling up sejuani 
So Death's Hand does have the plus for, for those two cards, for Wolf Rider, Sejuani. And I suppose that one, one point of damage could make the difference with Adarius level up, theoretically, but, you know, it could. I, I would also kind of argue, though, with that being said, I would argue that Culling Strike could be better for whenever your opponent's blocking, especially blocking with, like, your Tom Kench, Soraka kind of things, or even just, like, your other, you know, 3-3s three and stuff like that, that they block your Overwhelm units, you Culling Strike those Overwhelm units, and then you can get more damage in with this stuff than what you could with Death's Hand. All in all, I think that I think Culling Strike's probably a better card, and so I think I would I would honestly play Culling Strike if I if I was playing this deck. But I do understand that there are there are some really good times that one Nexus damage is worth it. But I think that being able to kill champions and being able to play large units with more health, being able to kill that kind of stuff, I think that I would rather have Culling Strike. You do also have Troll Chant that kind of pairs with the Culling Strike a little bit. And so that if, um, you know, if it's like later on in the game, but you try to calling strike a Tom Kench and they pale cascade the Tom Kench to make it so it doesn't have, so it has more than three power, then you can troll chant and get it back down to uh, three power. That's the thing you can do too. Um, I I would re I would recommend keeping Wolf Rider. I think the Wolf Rider is very good for us. I would not trade Wolf. I wouldn't change Wolf Rider, but. I do think that, you know, for the games you don't have Wolf Rider and everything, I think you want something else a little bit more in here. And Scar Maiden Reaver is underrated. This is a, a difficult thing to kill with that regeneration. That's that's a it's a nice attacker. So there we go. I, yeah, let's that's those are a couple of cards I would I would change in there. So there you go, Juan. Uh, give that a try. Hopefully that feedback helps out and hopefully that improves the deck. But it looked good. You know, it was it was powerful. And it, it you know, if you want like fast games, right? Like these were pretty fast games, and everything. And um, yeah, there, that's what I that's what we got. All right, so that's Darius Fury. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of those changes. Um, or if you got any other ideas or anything like that, or if you give this deck a try because this one was pretty strong. You give this deck a try let me know how it goes over there i'd appreciate that but that's it for darius fury so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video